Good day everyone, this is Sardana Apostol. For today's video, we are going to discuss undefined terms in geometry. So what are those undefined terms in geometry? We have point, line, and plane. Since we are dealing with geometry, let us define first geometry. What is geometry? So geometry comes from the two Greek words, geo, that means earth, and metron, that means measure. So we can simply say that geometry is the study of shapes and their measurements. Now, let us discuss the undefined terms in geometry. First, we have the point. What is a point? Point has a location, but it has no shape or size. So meaning, it has no dimensions. It can be represented by a dot, and the capital letter is used to name a point. So again, it has no dimensions. So, these are examples of point. So we have here a dot, which is represented by capital letter A, and also second dot, capital letter B, and the third dot, which is represented by capital letter C. So how to name a point? So basically, again, we are using capital letters to represent a point. So we can say that this is point A, and this is point B, and this is point C. What are the real-life representation of a point? So here are some examples in real life of a point. So we have here a uh, tip of a pen. It can represent a point. Also, mongo seeds. It can represent a point. And also, the corner of a box, it can also represent a point. Next. The second undefined term in geometry is line. What is line? A line is a collection of points arranged in such a way that they will extend to opposite directions so collection of points so kanina point so if we have one point then you add another point it can determine a line so the line has no shape but has a length so it is one dimensional so meaning only one dimension so kanina yung point has no dimension line has only one dimension so this is an example of line so we have here point a and point b so, sabi nga it is a collection of points arranged in such a way that they will extend to opposite direction so pag kinonect natin yung point a and point b then nag extend siya to opposite directions so in this uh, example Two points can determine a line, or can create a line. How to name a line? So we have again this uh, example. So we have point A and point B, and also a small letter L. So we can simply name this uh, using this letter, which is a small letter L. So we can name this line as line L. And also, we can use the points in the line. So, we can use a, uh, point A and point B. So, we can name this as line AB. So, this is the uh, uh, symbol for line. So, we have here two arrowheads. Or, we can name this in word, line AB. Also, 
uh, we can name this as line VA. So, pwede siyang mag-interchange. Or in word, line VA. So, what are the real-life representations of a line? So, example, we have electrical wire. Yan. So, it represents a line. Also, railway. It can represent a line. And, bamboo tree. It also represents a line. The last undefined term in geometry is a plane. A plane is any flat surface that extends to all directions. It has length and width but has no thickness. So it is two-dimensional. So yung kanina, yung point, it has no dimension. The line has only one dimension which is the length. Yung plane, we, uh, uh, it has two dimension, dimensions, which are the length and the width. So, kung mapansin natin, uh, from point, pwede makabuo ng line pag nagdagdag ng isang point, and they, uh, we connect this, we connect, we connect them. So, if, again, we, can, uh, we add another point or another dot, uh, it can determine a plane. Make sure that they are not collinear. So, ito nga yung example ng plane. So, collection of points that are not collinear. So, how to name a plane? So, in this example, we have a capital letter P and we have collections of points which are point A and uh, point B and point C. So, we can name this as uh, using this capital letter so we can name this plane as plane P and also we can use the points so we can name this as plane ABC so what are the real life representations of plane and so we have the top of the table ceiling and a piece of paper. So, these are the undefined terms of geometry. I hope uh, naintindihan natin, mas naunawaan natin, yung mga basic unit of geometry, which are the undefined terms of geometry. Okay guys, uh, I have here an activity. If you really understand our lesson, so let us answer this. So, let us determine whether each of the following suggests a point, a line, or a plane. Number 1, we have corner of a room. 2, wall. 3, the horizon. 4, parking lot. 5, laser beam. 6, guitar string. 7, tip of your finger. 8, stars in the sky. 9, cover of a book. 10, tip of a needle. So, let us answer number 1. Tignan natin kung parehas tayo ng answer. So, corner, corner of a room. So, that suggests a Okay, point. Wall. That is a plane. Horizon. That is a line. Parking lot. That is a plane. Laser beam. That is a line guitar string that is a line also tip of your finger point stars in the sky point cover of a book plane and tip of a needle that is point so if you got this perfectly then you really understand our lesson so that's all for today this video see you on our next upload Thank you and God bless.